Blessings, everybody. Blessings. Happy Hanukkah. This is the last day of the challenge, and this is the last day of Hanukkah. So praise God. Of course, uh, it's good for me to be back home here. My home studio, it's good to be back in the glory here. Uh, I feel the significant shift, uh, the authority of release, being in this comfortable setting. Amen. Uh, so praise God. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to all of you. Bless you. Bless you. Praise God. Yes, Lord. This is our last night, our last video, our last day of uh, the five days of Hanukkah miracles. So I hope and pray you've been blessed. Amen. And I'm so glad you've been with me and you've been joining me in this time. Praise the Lord. Give me some hearts and lights, people of God. Amen. Sakarabroska. Mandarabroska, Rabaraboska, Rabroska, Bandares, Karabroska. Hey, the Lori, blessings to you. Marina, blessings. Child of Most High, Sheila. Tri State area. Indiana, Kentucky. Ohio. Mandara broska da broska da banda de risca da broska banda de risca da broska banda de risca da ba. Well, hey, before I start today, uh, I just want to give some quick announcements. Of course, uh, we're doing our 21 days uh, of prayer. Okay, so um, of course today, as I promised everybody who's on right now, I'm going to prophesy over each person. Uh, it's our honor to steward the gift of prophecy. Uh, to hear the voice of God, to articulate his thoughts, his emotions, the mind and the heart of Jesus, and to make it known to the people. Of course, the Bible says we all see and know in part. Amen. Uh, but when we submit ourselves to the Lord, there is a greater unction and a greater flow and revelation that begins to come. I don't know about you, but I need people to constantly speak into my life. All right? Not only does the Lord speak to me, but I need people who are at a higher level than myself. Uh, who have been in the game longer, who are more mature, you know, uh, who have walked with the Lord more. I need to be around more seasoned people. And so uh, it's so important to have people in our lives, in a prophetic company, that can speak into our lives, speak truth, speak life, speak love, release uh, revelation, the love of Jesus, amen, because the Bible says prophecy is to exhort, edify, comfort, uh, it is to build us up. Amen. Someone say, build me up, Jesus. Amen. So I welcome you here today. Uh, it's good to be back home. Good to be back home, my home studio. Uh, I flew back, of course, this morning. Got home this morning and, uh, uh, you know, just been home all day, just getting work done and getting settled in. But it's good to be home. So I want to make a few announcements. Um, as I said, 21 days of prayer. Okay. Uh, all right. Our team's going to be praying with you. Literally right now, people of God, we are, let's see. We're 13 days away, okay? Uh, we're 13 days away from 2021. All right, we are 13 days away from entering into the new year. So, uh, you know, of course, uh, in the in midst of the festivities and, and Christmas and Hanukkah and all these things, you know, we really need to embrace prayer, uh, the secret place, our quiet times with the Lord, and really get ready before the new year comes. Amen. So I'm going to say, Jesus is preparing me. In the name of Jesus, amen. Man, I feel the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Yee! Bing, bang, bang, bang. Bam! Fire of God. But, uh, so, uh, uh, you know, send in your prayer requests and our team. We're going to be praying with you and send you uh, prophetic words from our prophetic team. Uh, so that's going to be great. Amen. And also, of course, uh, uh, tomorrow I am going to be on a Facebook Live with Prophet Joseph Clark III. I know what an incredible name. Uh, Apostle Jennifer LeClaire will be there. Uh, 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 Keenan, uh, Brian, Keenan, uh, what's his name? Holy Ghost. Keenan Bridges, I believe, right? Keenan Bridges, thank you, Lord. Uh, Dr. Hakeem and Naeem Collins, the twin prophets. Uh, Dr. Candace Smitherman. Uh, so it's going to be an incredible, powerful time. So join us uh, as we're going to talk, teach, and revelate on the new year 2021, talk about divine manifestation. Amen. Praise God. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. 
Rababande Setara Broska. And, uh, yeah, praise God. And, uh, of course, if you want to go deeper, listen, you know, of course, in this private Facebook group, you know, I've been doing different challenges such as this. But if you want to go deeper in mentoring, whether one-on-one -on -one or in a group mentorship, uh, do sign up. Uh, you know, I have a group mentorship called the 7M Glory Equip, all right, 7M Glory Equip. And, uh, you know, uh, I know a number of our people from our group is there. Uh, is on this live right now, but I, I encourage you, join today, uh, 7M Glory Equip, and I guarantee you, your life will go to the next level, amen, I believe in mentoring, I believe in discipleship, I believe in uh, investing, praise God, so happy Friday, Shabbat Shalom, happy Hanukkah, Chak Sameach, someone say Chak Sameach, okay, Yeshua, 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 na, 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 Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua. All right, well, praise God. Let me pray, Lord. I thank you for everybody on today. Bless me. This is the last day of Hanukkah. And this is the last day out of our five days of Hanukkah Miracles Challenge. I thank you for this is a season of miracles. This is a time of miracles that we're going to end December with great miracles. Hallelujah. Robo Saka. And every single person here today that there's divine increase of revelation, knowledge, wisdom, insight. Uh, let your favor lavish upon us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen. So remember, from Monday to Thursday, all right, to yesterday, for the last four days, I've been giving you foundation of a Hanukkah, why it's important. Okay, I believe that this is a supernatural time portal. Someone say time portal. Okay, it is a feast of God. It is an appointed time. Someone say appointed time. Remember, uh, you know, if you are working, which I hope most of you are, uh, if you if you have a job, then there's an appointed time for your uh, paycheck to come, right? So you're looking forward to your appointed time because you know that when you get your paycheck, okay, you got you can pay off your bills, you can get yourself a nice shirt, and then you know maybe go on a date. But you know, so there's an appointed time. So these. Feasts and festivals are called the appointed times of God, the appointed seasons, okay? So, although Hanukkah is not one of the seven covenantal feasts of God, appointed times, uh, the Hebrews considered this as the eighth, in a sense. It may not be in the covenant, but they considered this the eighth, okay? And uh, today I'm going to talk about the eighth day of new beginnings, because God is completing some things today. Amen. Listen. This is the last day of Hanukkah, okay? This is the last day of Hanukkah, and the Jews will say it is Zot Hanukkah. Someone say Zot, okay? Zot in Hebrew means last or final, okay? Zot Hanukkah, or they would also say uh, Hanukkah Hamizbiach. Hanukkah Hamizbiach, okay? Which means the last day of Hanukkah, okay, and who here knows that it's not about how you start, it's about how you finish, come on, it, you could start well, but not too many people end well, you can start well, but not too many people uh, end well, remember, the Bible says, the first is the last, and the last is the first, the first is the last, and the last is the first, this is the last day of this eight day celebration of Hanukkah, come on somebody, you follow me, it's the last day of eight days of celebration, which means the last day is the most important. Come on. It's the most important. It's the most grand. It's the most uh, glorious. It's the most celebrative. It's the most exquisite, outstanding, extraordinary. It's the last day. Why? Because throughout the seven days, it's been building and building and building. The glory's been building. The blessings have been building. The victory's been building as the lamp stands on, and, uh, as it keeps shining, growing brighter and brighter. It keeps increasing. It keeps shining. And all of a sudden, there's a fullness. Some say fullness. There's a fullness of revelation. There's a fullness of glory of the doxa, of the, of the manifest uh, shining presence of the excellency of God, of His nature. It's just shining so bright. And that's what today is. It's the last day of Hanukkah. And I declare right now, miracles, signs, and wonders. Miracles, signs, and wonders in your life, even in this broadcast. Rabbi, that you will leave this broadcast not just refreshed, not just healed, not just blessed, but you will leave this 
uh, broadcast today, the last day of Hanukkah, the last day of this child, you will leave this broadcast today walking as the, the burning candlesticks of God. You would walk out as the lampstands of God, not empty. Come on, somebody. Not empty, but every candlestick is burning bright. Fire of God. Some say fire. Okay. Now imagine, imagine uh, a candlestick. All right. Of course, I already taught you in Hanukkah. All right. The, the regular normal uh, candlestick lampstand has seven candlesticks, right? Seven. That's what you see in the book of Revelation. All right. The seven churches, the seven candles, the seven lampstands. You follow me? But only in Hanukkah do they celebrate with a nine candlestick. Someone say nine. Come on, somebody. Nine in Hebrew stands for uh, the fullness, stands for fruitfulness, and stands for finality. I'm going to repeat that again. All right. Nine in Hebrew stands for fullness, fruitfulness, and finality. How do I know this? Because last year was 2019. So, of course, I studied the number nine. And all throughout the Bible, there's nine times where witches and Jezebel was judged. Follow me here. All throughout the Bible, old to new. Witches and Jezebels were judged nine times. So, it's judgment, finality. There's nine gifts of the Spirit. Come on, somebody. And there's nine fruits of the Spirit. Come on, somebody. A triple nine. Three times three equals nine. Okay, so, but only in Hanukkah, only in this season, today is the last day that we celebrate God with the brightness of nine candles, not seven, but nine. Are you following me here today? Nine candles, only in this season of Hanukkah. And today, right now, is the last day of Hanukkah. Shabbat Shalom. Chag Sameach. Amen. So, I, ho I hope you're understanding the importance of this. Alright, so imagine a nine candlestick. Follow me here. Nine candlesticks. And imagine all your life. All my life. All your life, you've only had a one candlestick burning. All your life. Okay, how about this? Say, so, well, you know what, Pastor Ben? Uh, I, I attended this incredible seeker-friendly church. And, you know, I got all hypey and all clappy and all dancey. And now I wear skinny jeans. And uh, and I, I'm a soy boy latte. And uh, so now I, I actually move in two candlesticks. Two. But still seven is absent. Seven is dark. Seven is not lit up. Are you following me? Most people do not live with the fullness of their potential. Most people only live, move out of one gift. Out of two gifts. Out of three gifts. At the most, most people only live out of one, one council, two, maybe even three. But what about nine? I'm telling you today, God wants to light you up like a Christmas tree. God wants to light you up like a nine candlestick Hanukkah lampstand. He wants to light you up like you just got victory over the, over the Hasmoneans. You just took back your temple. You just took back your land. He wants to light you up like, <laughs> Like it's December 31st. He wants to light you up uh, like you just won and you're the Maccabees and you saw the hand and the victory of God. Amen. All nine. Too many people do not live with the fullness of their potential. They're only living from one, two, three. Are you following me here? So today is the last day of Hanukkah, which means that God is wanting to... Uh, Finish this eight-day feast celebration with a big hurrah. Come on, somebody, with a big hurrah. Let me ask you this right now. Have you been experiencing miracles in the last eight days? I know I have. Listen, even today, I got a free upgrade, right, to first class. It was great. Even though the flight was only like two hours. But it's just the first of many. Don't despise the small things. Have you been experiencing miracles in the last eight days? All right? I know I have. Our ministry has. People around me have. You know, we've been seeing... Financial miracles, body miracles, ministry miracles. We've been seeing things shift and move. Come on. And I'm telling you, even by the end of this year, we're going to see the goodness of God manifest in the United States of America, in this country. Amen. 
I'm telling you, 2020 still belongs to Jesus Christ. This year still belongs to Jesus Christ. And the last will be the first. Oh, Shabbat. He's not just the Alpha, but he's the Omega. He's not just the beginning, but he's also the end. And in this last day of Hanukkah, he's going to light you up with victory. He's going to light you up with revelation, with power, with grace. Someone say amen. Someone say, Jesus, light me up. So we all know Hanukkah is eight days long. And today is Rababande. Today is the last day. I know, say it ain't so. It is Zot Hanukkah. Zot Hanukkah. Amen. It is Zot Hanukkah. And the Jews, uh, they would celebrate today, of course, by lighting up the last candle. Now imagine how fascinating that is. They would celebrate today, gathered all around, dancing, partying, celebrating. Praise God. Uh, remembering what God did in the battle of the original Hanukkah, right? Of how the temple was rededicated. I feel the Holy Ghost. How the temple was dedicated and taken back. Praise God. Some say hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Rababa. And so they would celebrate and they would feast. And they would light up the last candle in commemoration and in remembrance and honor of what God did with the Maccabees and how God stood up for them. I'm telling you, when you stand up for God, Jesus will stand up for you. When you stand up for Jesus, all the hordes of hell cannot defeat, cannot even come against, cannot contest with the God of angel armies. All it takes is one, the power of one. And what they would do, of course, they would, you know, play with dreidels and and they would sing different songs and, and they would feast and wine and dine. But one of the things they would say is, uh, one of the things they would say, it's, it's very, uh, uh, I mean, we say this even in Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Kamar Kativa Tova. Mar Kativa Tova, which means, may you be sealed totally for good. Kamar Katima Tova. May you be sealed totally for good. And so in this last day of Zot Hanukkah, they say to one another, in this last day of Hanukkah, Omar Katima Tova, may you be sealed for good. What God does in you cannot be revoked, renunciated by the enemy. What God does with you cannot be uh, loosened, cannot be undone by the hands of demons. What God does with you, no man, no woman can shut. What God does with you, no organization can shut down. We are the church of Jesus Christ. And no demon, no false antichrist organization can shut us down. Amen. Kamar Katima Tova. May you be sealed with good things. May you be sealed totally. Come on. Totally. Not just with one, two, three, four, five. Candlesticks burning, but may you be sealed totally with eight lampstands burning, and may that be your full destiny. Amen. Let me ask you this. If you died today, if you died today, you 42 people watching right now, if you died today, if you die today, the, the amount of of candlesticks or revelation gifting that you're moving in, that's what you're going to be inheriting in the afterlife. If you die today only moving in three realms, that's what you're going to inherit forever in the eternal life. But if you die today moving in all eight, then that's what you're going to inherit in the afterlife, all eight. Come on, somebody. I said new beginnings. Eight in Hebrew stands for new beginnings. Eight in Hebrew also stands for not of this world. We know that the Jewish boys, that uh, they were circumcised in their body as a sign of, of a covenant, a sign and a symbol as a wonder of God. The boys would walk around and, and as they were circumcised in the body and the flesh, it was a sign 
that they were not of this world. They're in this world, but they're not of this world. They show the world that they are not of this world. So on the eighth day, the Jewish boy will be circumcised, which means today God is cutting things off. God is, is circumcising our hearts because he wants to prove to the world that you are not of this world. He wants to prove to the world that you are diferente. Tu esta diferente, okay? No puedes comprar, okay? No puedes compartir, okay? You cannot be compared, okay? You are not of this world. You are walking as a sign and a wonder. You made it. Come on, somebody. All right. God said there's a realm of new beginnings being released over you today. I don't know if you feel the glory. I feel the glory. I feel the shift. I feel great. It might be because I'm back in my home studio. Uh, you know, it might be because of the last day of Hanukkah, of Zot Hanukkah. Remember, it's not how you start. It's about how you finish. It's not about how you start Hanukkah. It's about how you finish. And it's going brighter and brighter. Hotter and hotter. Glory to glory. Come on, somebody. Victory to victory. Power to power. Revelation to revelation. Increase to increase. Breakthrough to breakthrough. And this last day. How you celebrate the Lord and how you embrace this revelation and you remember what he did. Remember, what is a testimony? Remember what God did so that he can do it again. God can do it again, but when you remember what he did and you bring it to the forefront and you begin to declare it again, then that opens up the realm for God to do it again. Amen. Sharabroska Baba. This is the last day of Hanukkah, people of God. Last day. Hallelujah. Sharabroska. And eight in Hebrew stands for new beginnings. Eight in Hebrew stands for not of this world. I pray that there will be new beginnings in your life today. I pray that God would, would cause you to be so distinct and distinguished. That even as we're 13 days away from ending 2020 can you believe it my gosh we're about to fully break up with 2020 it's, it's incredible finally i've been trying to lose this girl named 2020 no, i'm kidding i don't know I, I i already said it i love 2020 it's been the best year of my life honestly <laughs> it's been the best year of my life <laughs> but uh you know we're 13 days away from entering into 2021 and so god wants to release new beginnings okay he wants to release new blessings, new breakthrough, new glory, new miracles. Someone say hallelujah. Remember, the Hanukkah lampstand has eight, but has one at the center. So there's nine, okay? Eight and nine. So that's nine in total. I pray that God will release the nine gifts of the Spirit. He will release the nine fruits of the Spirit. Amen. He would release the nine judgments against every evil person that has tried to curse you and come against you. Nine. Someone say hallelujah. In a few minutes, I'm going to pray and prophesy over each of you. As I promised, I felt like the Lord told me, minister prophetically to each person who stays on the live here, to each and every single person. Amen. This is the last day of Hanukkah. And uh, I hope you've been blessed by this uh, five-day challenge. You know, um, uh, once again, Hanukkah seems to be uh, not regarded as highly as Rosh Hashanah, Passover, Pesach, Tabernacles, or any of the other biblical feasts. All right, Be but remember, I taught you on the first day. Jesus Himself celebrated Hanukkah. Jesus Himself celebrated Hanukkah. In fact, He He embodied Hanukkah Himself because He is the fulfillment of every appointed time and every feast. 
But if this is an appointed time, if you are waiting for an appointed time, okay, come on, for your your pay stub, your paycheck to come to you, then this is a greater appointed time of heaven to invade earth and heaven to come crashing in into your life. <sighs> wow. If we're waiting for the appointed time for President Trump to be fully announced as winner, not projected elect, but as winner, then then how much greater is this appointed time? How much greater? Praise God. Someone say, it is my appointed time and season. And remember, people of God, we're also in the new month uh, of Tevet. Okay? We're in the new month of Tevet. And this is the month where Esther took her place. This is the month. Tevet is the month where Esther rose for such a time as this. Where Esther rose and took her place. And she came before the king and found great favor in the court. And every false word, decree, judgment against her and the Jewish people was overturned. And the enemies were slain, slewed. And the Jews had great victory. This is that month, Tevet. I could, I could share angels celebrating right now. Haramabandi. Shoo! My gosh. Robos karabras karabandres karabo. It's time to take back the temple. It's time to take back our land, our homes, our dignity, our purity, our faith, our finances, our churches. Time to take back our worship, our businesses. The devil cannot stop the flow and blessings of God in your life. Amen. Some say hallelujah. Listen. In a few minutes now, I'm going to begin to pray with you and prophesy over each and every person. This is going to be incredible. Amen. This is going to be good. Shara Baroska. Remember, I want to give some announcements here. Uh, remember, tomorrow, I'm going to be online at 11 a.m. PST. Tomorrow night, uh, I'm also going to be at Open Heavens North Hollywood. Okay. Uh, I love what God's doing in Open Heavens. Know how it's powerful. Our second church plant. And also, uh, Sunday... Can't wait to be with you at Open Heavens World. We have a special Christmas Sunday service program. So that's going to be great. Amen. But uh, I'm so proud of all of you. Uh, I'm so encouraged by all of your faith. Um, remember, when we embrace these open windows of God, when we embrace what He celebrates, and when we embrace that, there's a favor that comes. There's a favor. And not too many people. I mean... Compared to all the other challenges, this one is probably the least amount of responses for whatever reason. But those who embrace the secret things of God, they will be blessed and promoted publicly. Remember, my people die, perish for lack of knowledge. Thank you, Lord. Shara Baraba. Some say miracles. Some say Hanukkah miracles. Incredible. On Tuesday, I talked about financial miracles, multiplication, the realm of multiplication. Amen. Shoo! So, and I talked about how the oil multiplied from one day's worth of oil, one day's worth. Imagine, you have you have a you have a, a, a pantry uh, enough to feed your family for one day only, but somehow it multiplied to eight days worth. Think about that. And the oil multiplied into eight days' worth until they defeated the enemies. And then, of course, on day three, I talked about uh, I talked about uh, having victory. Okay, having victory over fear and anxiety. Amen. Day three, day four, uh, I talked about healing miracles in your body, which was just yesterday. Amen. And I know many people have been getting healed and blessed. Uh, relieved, released from infirm spirits and tension. Uh, because that stands for the temple. Okay, Your body is a temple of God. Your body and Hanukkah stands for rededicating the temple back to God. Taking back the temple and rededicating the temple to the Lord. That's what Hanukkah means. Hanukkah means dedication, rededication. Amen. Some say, I dedicate my life to you, Lord. 
I dedicate my life to be a pleasing sacrifice, a pleasing aroma in your sight. Someone say amen. Now today is the last day of Hanukkah. It's the last day of this five days challenge. And I'm believing for Hanukkah miracles in your life, in your family, in your finances, your health, your even your vision. Someone say vision. Listen, I know many of you right now, you're praying, you're praying, you're praying. You're, you, you know 2021 is ahead and uh, the elections is, is held up in the spirit and and a lot of things are just, you know, seems like it's held up in a sense. And so we're all praying and we're interceding and tearing in the Holy Ghost. But, uh, you know, I want to tell you, in, in midst of your praying and preparation and the spirit for the new year, for 2021, I want to tell you that God's going to download fresh wisdom, insight, revelation, and the courage and power, the exousia for you to make the right decisions. Someone say clarity is mine. Vision is mine. Someone say Jesus is giving me great focus. Someone say Jesus is circumcising my heart and cutting off and away all the flesh. Every distraction, every sin, every evil, unhealthy, toxic habit. God is cutting away anything that deters me and draws me away from you. That's what he's doing right now. Amen. Amen. So on his last day, may you burn bright. The fullness of the revelation of God. Wow, I'm so drunk right now. Someone say vision. Someone say provision. Wow. Zakarabate sarabroska bande. Mandere broska bashkara broska bonde. Roba, gamar katima tova. May you be totally sealed with good things. Gamar kativa tova. May you be totally sealed with good things. Not just two, three, but full eight, nine candlesticks burning. Someone say amen. Well, people of God, I'm going to start praying and ministering to you right now. Uh, okay. Did you enjoy this? Did you receive? It's good to be back home uh, in my home studio. It's good to be here with all of you. Amen. And uh, can't wait to see you tomorrow at Open Heavens No Ho and Sunday at Open Heavens. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Woo, you guys got to pray for me because I'm, I'm drunk as a skunk. I'm skunky drunky. <laughs> Woo. But listen, people of God, if, you, if you've been blessed, if you receive this Hanukkah revelation miracles. If you're so grateful for the Lord for what he did uh, 160 years before Jesus came and how Jesus honored celebrate Hanukkah. And if, if you're so grateful about the same end, well, Hak Sameach, happy Hanukkah. So glad you joined me. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. It's been wonderful. It's been incredible to have you all for the five days of Hanukkah. This is the last day of Hanukkah. Celebrate with your loved ones, with people you love. And thanks for celebrating with me and being here on the broadcast. Um, appreciate y'all. Remember, sow your Hanukkah miracle seed. I pray that God will work wonders. Even as we close off this broadcast today. And even as we celebrate in the last day and night of Hanukkah. I bless you all. Shalom to you. Thanks for joining me in the, in the last five days. I appreciate you. Happy Hanukkah. And uh, may you be like a modern day Maccabee. Where we take back the temple. We see an overthrow of the coop of our enemies. And we rededicate the temple and worship back to the Lord. Sarah, Sarah. Happy Hanukkah. Shalom to you.